Hello and welcome to Faith and Friends. Flowers are starting to bloom. It's becoming very pretty outside. So, so guys, I brought you a gift. Straight. My question is, how closely were you paying attention to the temperature last Saturday, Sunday? Because we came awful close to snow in May. Well, we did. I don't think those are blooming. But it, the, I still have they flowers. Might have the frost I have flowers have blooming. But here, for each of you, because I care so greatly about your health. You're making a mess. <laughs> We're going to get dandelions in the studio Pam growing. Pam is no, mad at me you. as we speak. No. Pam, no. No. Mark will not accept the dandelions. But there's a reason, Mark. These are actually not a floral gift for you. This is because I care about your health. I'm not eating that either. <laughs> Gonna have to get Dr. Trudy talking to him. Is that part of our latest smoothie? Coming up later on today's show, we'll tell you why these items are such a precious commodity. Some great medical information coming up in an all new health segment from Dr. Trudy Paper. Also coming up today, Pastor Charlene Williams introduces us to her book, 31 Prayers That Move the Hand of God, a powerful devotional with prayers pertaining to so many common situations in our everyday life. Plus, Healthy Kids Day recently took place at area YMCA's. But first, today's scripture as we continue to focus on the biblical attribute of godliness. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6-11 through 11 says, Now godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content, but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience and gentleness. I love how the scripture always says, don't do this, stay away from this stuff. Here's the path you can take, always equipping us for the road that will most benefit us in this life and on ongoing. Well, God is the creator of our bodies and he desires us to keep it healthy, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. Recently, YMCA's all across the country held Healthy Kids Day, an event designed to promote overall health. The Wapakoneta YMCA was one of the locations getting great attendance for this year's event. YMCA's all across the country spent the last weekend in April dedicated to kids. Everything from planting flowers to jumping in bounce houses, meeting safety personnel, and so much more. All a part of a healthy kids day. Healthy Kids Day is a nationwide initiative that encourages kids to get up and get healthy, especially in the summertime. Studies suggest that kids actually gain weight in the summer now, and so this is a way to show kids how they can be healthy, and it enables them to make healthy choices. At the Wapakoneta YMCA, Healthy Kids Day met for a Friday night filled with family fun. Kids of all ages and their parents and grandparents jumped, bounced, planted, and learn some amazing new things. We have an obstacle course out here by Nikelli Lawn Services running it. We have Village Green here. They are in doing a plant a seed with the kids. We also have Dan and Yogurt here and we have a parfait station. We have Alicia Frost from Norris U and she's making smoothie samples. We also have a lot of local agencies. We have the DARE officer here from Alglaze County Sheriff's Department. We have the Walpock Police Department. We have Job and Family Services. We have the library with a Lego station and we have our a ton of other fun things going on. We have our bounce house and we also have kids aerobics classes going on. The Wapakoneta event was sponsored by St. Rita's. Lima and other surrounding Y's also held their own Healthy Kids Day events. In the end, the nationwide focus is to be a positive impact on today's area families, especially the youth, in more ways than just physical exercise. Part of our mission is to put Christian principles into practice through programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body. And this event really covers all of that. So we're really happy that we can host this event that's free and open to the public. God gave us our bodies and desires us to take care of them. He also gave us the resources needed to help heal them. In today's Lost Creek Care Center health segment, Dr. Trudy Pieper talks, some, talks about something that's likely in your yard, something you might consider a weed Trudy says is a health treasure. Well, we're going to talk about fighting cancer today. Yes, we know that cancer has affected so many people all across the country, but there are things that you can be doing in your life to fight it, and one of those is in your yard at a certain time of year. We are talking about those pesky yellow flowers that some people spray and want to get rid of. I know they work so hard to get rid of them, and they need to be saving their dandelions. dandelions. They're so important. 
I yes. love dandelions. So why, Trudy, tell us, <laughs> how are dandelions and fighting cancer connected? Well, first of all, dandelions is probably one of my favorite flowers, and, and we've talked about dandelions before, but they're loaded with vitamins A, B, C, and D. Right off the bat, they're, they're very healthy. They have the minerals iron and potassium and zinc in them. And the newest thing out is they have found that dandelion root, either in a tincture form where they have extracted from the roots in a liquid form, um, has killed the leukemia, melanoma, and pancreatic cancer cells in mice, wow. which is huge. Um, what they had found that, that the dandelion root goes in and it causes the cells to kill themselves. They commit suicide. And with that, it's called apoptosis, which is when the cell will disintegrate itself. And the dandelion has been found to do that. Also, there's been study research that it finds that the, when you grind the root, you can use that to fight lung and prostate cancer also. Wow. Now, as we're taping this, we are unfortunately getting to the point where the dandelions are going to seed, right. and so we're losing those beautiful yellow flowers, but you said we can still use what's left Absolutely. out there for good things. Right. The leaves and the roots are the most powerful and the most important part. So even though it's going to seed, although I have someone who gathers the seeds and saves them and plants them so we can have them all year long. See, that's someone who really loves dandelions. But with the, the flour is loaded with vitamin C, but, and you can use that in cooking. My grandkids and I throw it in pancakes and make pancakes with it. You throw it in salads, you can eat them. It makes it pretty. But the leaves are a natural diuretic, and the um, German Health Commission is, has advocated this one of the key things that they use to lower water and water, water retention in people. Um, the, the root is the one we're talking about for, for cancer though, and, but the root is also good for gallbladder, for liver, and urinary problems. With the root, you go out and you want to dig it up, you want to clean it, it takes a little dirt off, uh, there's, and the deeper the root of that, the better. That means they're larger, bigger. Come in and clean it off. But the key is to chop it up then rather than drying it first because then it's a very, very hard root. So chop it up and then for you can put it in your oven for an hour on the low heat and let it dry out or you can just chop it up and let it air dry for two weeks. And then you can use that to make a tea, uh, drink that for to fight cancer or you can grind up the roots and put use as a powder on things. Okay, we need to stop for a moment. I gotta call my husband, tell him not to mow the lawn so that I can go get the dandelions before we do that. Um, I mean, can we really really just go out in our yard Absolutely. and pull up these dandelions that we have? Absolutely. Go out there now and get the, the leaves um, and take the leaves and chop them up and pour hot water over it, steam it for 10 minutes, drink the tea, loaded with potassium, great for diuretic, it'll help your whole uh, urinary system. And the same thing with the roots. The ones that are in your yard, absolutely go out there and harvest them. Mm -hmm. Another thing that God has created that many of us consider just to be a nuisance, right. God has created for our health. I mean, we're yeah. talking everything from, I mean, we're talking more than just cancer, which of course is a huge it thing. Huge. It's the whole plant, the flower, the leaf, and the root are important and God created them for us to use. Now, once we get out of dandelion season, is there a way that people can continue to get the nutrients from them in their diet? Is it available for purchase places? It is, you can buy them. Um, most health food stores do have it in a capsule form where they've taken either the root or the leaf and they've dried it and then they've um, processed it and put it in a capsule form. You also can go online in a lot of different places. Mountainrose.com will carry them in bulk that you can buy for yourself and use. I have to admit, we talked about dandelions a while back and I couldn't remember what you said about it but I ran across some dandelion tea one day and I'm like oh I'm gonna buy that I know there's a reason but I can't remember what now I, I can remember yeah, that's why. right and you can buy dandelion tea just about anywhere most most grocery stores as well as health food stores will carry them wonderful all right what's some incredible information God really did give you everything you need um, it's right out there in your yard don't spray them utilize them dandelions are a health gift from God that's the cancer that's fighting medicine in your yard. And as usual, you can watch this and all of our other health tip videos again at our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. I'm with Dr. Trudy Pieper from Phoenix Wellness, and we are at Gifts of Joy in Lima. Back to you in the studio. So far today, we've talked about physical health. We've also talked about natural healing. So let's move to the topic of spiritual health. To whom do you turn when you're in need of a spiritual checkup? Where do you go in times of crisis or concern? Well, there's one answer to all of those questions. You can go to God in prayer. Local pastor Charlene Williams is the author of 31 Prayers That Move the Hand of God. 
Jennifer is with her to talk about this impacting devotional. Pastor Charlene Williams, New Life Church International is with me, author, speaker, international speaker, really. I mean, New Life Church International, we got to keep that international <laughs> name on there because yes, the yes. name of Jesus in Lima and all around the world. Hallelujah. Author of 31 Prayers That Move the Hand of God devotional. Yes. Powerful book. Let's Thank talk you. about what was the inspiration behind writing this? Praise God. I'm glad that you ask. Um, the book was written out of a very hard place. I was at a very difficult place in my life, a very difficult juncture, where I was trying to figure out what the next season of my life mm. was, what is it God was directing me in. I was already doing so much in the ministry, but I started feeling my heart percolating and saying, you know, there's something new, a new season. And so I went through a really dark season, mm. talking to God and just hearing his heart. And these are prayers that came out of that closet. Mm. Those times of crying and uh, those times of, and somebody actually had said something to me that really had thrown me off. And I was so hurt and so angry. And I realized I had to forgive in order to make the next move uh. into the new season. And that's how one of the prayers on forgiveness mm. came about. So it was, all of these prayers are really, personal to me. It's something that I believe God has given to me. And so it out of that season that this book was birthed. So forgiveness is just one of the prayers yes. that's listed here. There are 31 different prayers yes. focusing on almost, oh, I'm not going to say every, because there's so many situations, but you really cover so many yeah. situations that a person would be facing future spouse of children, mm -hmm. healing, rededication of life to God, my children's salvation, financial blessings against the spirit of fear. These are just examples, yes, but yes. every single one is an individual prayer specifically for that topic. Yes, yes. And that's what I felt the Lord was stirring in my spirit, is that people are crying out for these individual topics, but they're not sure how to articulate their prayer. They're not sure how to bring it before the Father. For instance, praying for your children's spouse. I mean, that is a, that is a key component oh, in the yeah. heart of a mother and father for your child. And so I felt like the Lord uh, gave me the burden to write those prayers. And you would not believe the testimonies, my goodness, that are coming as a result of these prayers. Actually, the one on um, a suicide, that one was written a day, Jennifer, when this last suicide occurred at Shawnee High School. Mm. And a parent called me in such despair and broken heartedness. Pastor, what do I do? My boys are at the school, they're weeping. What do I do? And my heart got so overwhelmed with this spirit of suicide that had mm. attempted to attack our city. And so that's how uh, that prayer came about. So it was different situations that occurred that the Lord has burned my heart with. And that's how these prayers were all written. When well, you mentioned the spirit of suicide and you know there's so many demonic evil things yes. that Satan tries to get into and we do need to, we need to stand on mm -hmm. the word of God. Mm -hmm. We need to break through with mm -hmm. those prayers. And, and I, that's one thing I noticed. In fact, it wasn't too long ago um, I was dealing with a situation involving a family member and mm. I couldn't sleep. I didn't mm. know what to do. I picked up your book oh and I started praying from your book and immediately it was just, it was powerful. Praise it w God. I was felt like what you wrote in here is uh, it's, it's waging holy war yes. against the enemy. Yes. And I just, I felt a release Praise right then God. and there. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, so, so who is this book intended for? This book is intended for anyone that wants to pray and talk to the Father, anyone that, that have a burden for prayer. And it's basically for children, for youth, for mothers, for fathers, single, married, anyone can pick up this book and find a prayer that is pertinent to their um, individual need. And that's why I've written it the way that I have. Anybody can, can, can read it. I had one mother call me from Florida one day and she had just gotten a spirit of fear it just paralyzed her i actually put it on facebook um this the prayer that i did on fear and she said she had these fears about people um somebody hitting her from behind and 
uh, she and her daughter falling off a cliff and dying. And she said, my goodness, I was so scared of getting on the freeway. She said, you would not believe, Pastor, the fear that paralyzed me. And right there and then, I just began to pray the same prayer over the phone. And she called me back and said, it is gone. It is over. I am, in fact, she was traveling for half an hour every day back and forth to work. And it just left her like that. So it, these are spirits that affect us. And it's the power of the word of God through prayer that give us that breakthrough. And so that's why I believe these prayers are powerful for anyone. Sometimes in a crisis situation, it can be difficult to know how to pray. Mm -hmm. And here we have a resource where if, if, if your mind is going, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, you can simply open the book. And like here, I just happened to open to Against the Spirit of Fear. And Pastor Charlene, what a anointed prayer to, to just God. be able to, and I'm not saying read it without meaning. Exactly. Mean it in your heart, but but the words here, what can what is possible can be done. Now you just have got an audio book also available. Tell me about yes, this. Yes, yes. So many people have said to me, Pastor, I would love to hear you pray. I would just like to take these these um, prayers and stick it in a CD on my way to work or whatever. Is there a way you can produce a CD for us? So I actually recorded the prayers. And so these prayers are live and it's the same testimony. Oh my goodness. Jennifer, I am, I'm humbled. Really, I am humbled to see what God can do when he plants a vision in your heart, a purpose, and he begins to live it out through you. So the audio is available also, 31 prayers that move the hand of God. Pastor Charlene, you talk about a vision. God really planted something in your heart about yes, prayer, prayer yes. in the churches, prayer everywhere. Why? Tell me what we need when it comes to prayer in this country. Prayer is the thing, is the key that unlocks the doors of our hearts towards the Father. If we want to see God move, if we want to see breakthrough in the spirit realm, if we want to see the power of God in exhibit, Let's pray. Let's begin to find that place. And that's what I believe the enemy has taken out of the church and attempted to take out of our homes and our families, prayer. So we're so busy doing so much, trying to accomplish so much, and we forget or neglect prayer. I believe God is calling his church. I believe God is calling his people back to a place of prayer. When God's people pray, pray, things happen. And that's why the name of this book is Prayers That Move the Hand of God. I was reading this morning, I do a prayer line every day of prayer from six in the mornings, and I was doing it this morning. And one of the things that came to me is the Revelation, uh, the Revelation 8-4 passage, when John saw the angel and he had incense and he had prayers of the saints my goodness the prayers of the saints are treasurable to god it means the world to him when he hears us pray and our prayer becomes a memorial to him if you want to see breakthrough just find that place and sometimes we don't know how to pray and the beauty of it is you just talk to him just like i'm talking to you he is such a wonderful God, just ready to hear and listen to the prayers of his saints. It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't no. have to be perfect words. No. doesn't no. have to be perfect place or anything. Any way you can cry out to him at any moment. And the fact is nobody can take that from you mm -hmm. ever. No one can ever take your pr ability to pray because it's in here. It's in here. Yes. No one can take it away. That's right. Pastor That's Charlene, right. there might be people out there saying, yes, I, I, this is me. Yes. I need this. Of course, they can contact you yes. and Pastor Darnell at New Life Church International. But as far as the book and the audio book, how can they get their own copies? I'll tell you, Jennifer, this thing, I'm so passionate about this. It means so much to me that I have given my personal cell phone number because I want when people, to, people call me, I can pray for them also. I want a personal relationship with the people that are purchasing this book. So you can call me at my personal phone at 419-516-9094. Or you can email me at kcharlene99 at gmail.com. Okay. I'm also on Facebook at Charlene Ministries. You can also find me there.
Excellent. And be watching for Charlene to be speaking at one of your area churches. Um, she, of course, does pastor New Life Church International here, but she is on the road quite a bit because this <laughs> yes. message of prayer God is taking all over the place. Pastor Charlene, thank you so much. Uh, for writing this book. Thank you for being obedient to God Praise and doing God. this. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. It is truly an honor. God bless you. Thank you. Well, God, prayer, dedicating everything to Him. Do you ever stop to take time and think about your talents? You know, God gave you your talents and how are you using them? A Columbus Grove High School senior is giving God the credit for the talents she has in the area of track and field. Matt Finkel has more in today's Faith on the Field segment. It is my senior year. I've definitely been focusing on my technique and getting stronger, but definitely the bigger picture and state. That's that's my main goal is to be able to be a state champion. It's what I've worked for since fifth grade, since I picked up a disc for the first time. The biggest thing for Linnea is her work ethic. You know, she's the youngest of four girls and grew up on a farm. And so she's always had to work, raises <laughs> livestock. And with that work ethic, you know, she's put in a lot of time here. If you come up, uh, she's one of the last ones to leave every night, you know, always working on it, trying to get better. That desire to improve helped Diller not only get to state, but place fourth in the shot put at Jesse Owens as a sophomore, setting a school record in the process. Then last year, Linnea took second in the discus and third in the shot put. I, I still remember the feeling of um, throwing that 40 feet at regionals and be, being able to get out and go to state. I uh, just fell to my knees and started crying and like praising God for everything because um, he's blessed me with so much so far. And hopefully coming in this year, I can place even higher than I did and hopefully bring home two golds for, for our town. This year, it's nice to know we got that ace in our pocket and, and she's put in the time and has gotten better yet this year. And hopefully she can perform that way at state again. It's a good thing that Diller is comfortable in Columbus because that's where she will continue her throwing career in college. After meeting with Coach Muffet Duncan, Linnea knew she found the right fit at Ohio State. Similar to Big Rick, who's my throwing coach here, I wanted someone that was going to push me to be able to compete um, at, a, at a higher level and to be able to get better than I am now. Um, I definitely didn't want to go into a college where um, I was going to be sitting at the top already coming in. The bigger the stage, the bigger the throws for Linnea. One of the things that people don't know about Linnea is she's an excellent singer. And with that, she's been a performer all of her life. And I'm sure when she gets to Ohio State, you know, it's going to be another big stage and she's going to react the way that Linnea does. Linnea attributes her many successes, both on and off the field, to her belief in God's plan. My faith is definitely a huge aspect in my life. This past year, I actually gave my testimony and got baptized to make that commitment and jump into my faith. And when I did that, it kind of opened a lot for me. Um, I've been able, I've seen so many improvements in myself and just people around me and, and the blessings that God has given me. I've been blessed my whole life um, and, I, and I'm giving all the glory to him. I've always um, praised him with everything that he's given me. And um, this year it's definitely shown uh, that what he's blessed me with, the talents that he's given me, I'm just trying to, trying to do the best that I can um, and just use the best of my abilities um, to the glory of God. Thank you, Matt. Linnea, the future Buckeye, has her sights set on a state championship. Now, many other high school seniors all throughout the area are also watching their high school careers nearing a close. Graduation season, of course, upon us and TV44 saluting this year's senior class all month long, the best of the class. You can watch for the top academic students from the high schools in our viewing area. In fact, we'll be spotlighting these top graduating seniors throughout the summer as well. This year's Best of the Class on TV44, sponsored by Citizens National Bank and Busy Bee Realty. Congratulations to all who are part of the graduating class of 2016. Well, we want to take a moment to say thank you for your generosity during our recent Spring to Life campaign. We raised just over $50,000, and this is definitely a blessing to us as we continue with the ministry of TV44. You know, Lois from New Knoxville, donated and also included a note saying, I remember when WTLW first went on the air, and even though I'm 89, it's still my favorite station. Mm -hmm. Although Charles Stanley is 80, he still preaches powerful sermons. I enjoy the speakers on convocation on Sunday nights. I can always be sure that each program on WTLW is clean and pleasing to the Holy Spirit who resides in the life of the Christian. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Lois. I also want to thank Mary Wilkins in Lima, also Richard McCobb here in Lima for their gifts as they partner with TV44. You're going to TV44 
any time of the year is appreciated and used specifically to expand the gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, no gift is too small nor too large. Donate securely at WTLW.com by mail, over the phone, or in person. Also consider signing up for automatic monthly withdrawal, a sell safe and reliable way to continue to partner with TV44 every month of the year. Another way to donate to TV44 is to donate to our auction. And here's a look at what we received within the last week. Three boxes of OSU memorabilia. Now, a lot of stuff from the 2002 National Championship, a lot of autographed memorabilia, some awesome. really nice framed prints, quite a few bobbleheads, and really some, some great items that could be yours coming up September the 10th. This is a signed football. I don't know who signed it. You might know who signed it. Mark, our expert Ohio State guy. But of course, all of these items we will slowly be posting on our Facebook page and other places as we start to get closer to the auction. And of course, September 10th is the day that you can come and bid on these items, um, but we are already accepting donations. We're specifically interested in good quality furniture items, tools, quality collectibles like you saw on the set today, and automobiles. You can donate Monday through Thursday, 10 to 4, bring in your items, but call ahead for Friday drop-offs. We are available on Fridays, but just want to coordinate with our staff at that point. Of course, it's not too early to plan to attend this year's auction. As Jennifer said, Saturday, September the 10th, right here on the grounds of TV44. And as always, we have more information by calling 419-339-4444. Now we close with another look at our scripture. Remember, we're focusing on godliness throughout the month of May. And we look at 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 11. Now godliness with contentment is great game, for we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from their faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Just pull that list out throughout the week and how can I be loving more? How can I be more godly? How can I be more faithful and patient and gentle? And your friends and family are going to thank you for that.